Can you use neurofeedback brain training for ADHD and be taking ADHD medications? I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let me answer that for you. Yes, you can. There's studies that show, there's two main studies that I'm thinking about. The first study shows that even for people who are on medication, their brain will still identify as using the ADHD adult pattern when they have EEG to diagnose or to confirm that they have adult ADHD. So let me say it in a different way because it's kind of convoluted, but even if you're on medication, the brain pattern for adult ADHD will show up on your evaluation because the medication doesn't work enough to even mediate the results in your brain map. Your brain map will show adult ADHD even if you're on meds. Science shows that. Secondly, other studies show that even if you are on medication, you can use brain training to improve the underlying brain pattern that's still there because we saw it on your brain map it still is in there because medication doesn't change the brain pattern that's underneath adhd it's simply helping your brain deal with the symptoms so i always call medication a band-aid it's like putting a band-aid on a cut if you get a cut you want to put a band-aid on it to kind of stop the bleeding and you know keep it okay until you go and get stitches Neurofeedback brain training is like stitches for the brain. It doesn't put anything into your brain. It gently coaxes the wound back together like stitches would. It brings the brain pattern from out in the extremes of using the ADHD pattern, that is one of too much slowness, and the anxiety pattern that's generally comorbid, and it decreases those, and it increases the optimal brain pattern in the middle for perfect processing speed so that your brain can perform better. And when your brain is working better, now you can perform better in your mind and your body. It's a top-down approach to being able to heal that adult ADHD brain pattern that's in there. So how does it work with medication? You can start on your medication. And then when you're working with your provider, what we do is we will monitor the levels of how your brain is performing because with neurofeedback, we see the data from every single one of your sessions within sessions and across the sessions. And that allows me to be able to see how much your brain is improving and how quickly. And of course I show that to you. Then we look at how your brain is improving over time and there will be points in your neurofeedback program where your brain is working better and it's working enough better that you could reduce your medication without feeling any difference in your behavior. And of course you go back to your prescribing doctor or we work with them to be able to make that decision based upon the data but then you're able to wean yourself off of your ADHD medications if that's a goal. You can still do the training on your medication and for many people they're able to reduce or get off their medications completely when they heal the brain pattern that's functioning underneath that. So you can definitely do neurofeedback brain training if you are taking medication and if it's a goal to get off of it then it can generally help you to be able to do that too. Okay, so if you're looking for help on how to conquer your adult ADHD, please visit my website at drtrishlee.com under the personal neuro training tab. I talk about my coaching programs that use neurofeedback in its most simple form. If you're looking for uh, more individualized and personalized neurofeedback, my professional private practice at leebrainandspine.com, we do at-home brain mapping and we do at-home neurofeedback. Make it super easy for you to be able to access it and to you know, conquer that brain pattern that's happening underneath so you can rock out your best life. Okay, hope this helps you understand and remember, control your brain or it'll control you.